This video from the Innovation Leaders Club will explain how the Innovation Portfolio Review relates to the Innovation Strategy. Many innovation leaders wonder how to implement the Innovation Strategy. The answer is partly answered with the Innovation Portfolio Review, since buckets for resource allocation shall be dictated by the Innovation Strategy. We have developed a 60-page visual guidebook on how to develop an innovation strategy. It is a fully illustrated step-by-step -step guide to building the foundation of an innovation system. Click the link in the description below to download it for free. Next, let's discuss the relationship between portfolio management and innovation strategy. Let's say you do not have an innovation strategy, but wish to implement portfolio management practices. Is it doomed from the start? The answer is no. Even if you do not have an innovation strategy, you will still be able to prioritize projects, allocate resources, and balance your portfolio. However, you will miss an important criterion. Are these projects helping us accomplish our vision? The objective of the innovation strategy is to determine where you want to focus your innovation efforts. Without a clear innovation strategy, you will have too many project proposals that seem interesting. With the help of the innovation strategy, you will be able to determine what to focus on. The first objective of the portfolio review is to implement the innovation strategy. This is an example from a furniture manufacturer who is competing against IKEA. They have five strategic arenas three focusing on products for the living room, dining room, and bedroom. In comparison, they have two technology arenas, new textures, and mechanisms. It is uncommon to see an allocation that overweighs technology instead of project strategic arenas. However, this manufacturer has launched several new products in the past years and is now focusing on developing new technological platforms that will be integrated in future products. A benefit of the innovation strategy is that it eases project prioritization against similar opportunities, comparing apples to apples. Otherwise, all kinds of opportunities are mixed and can hardly be prioritized. So once the innovation strategy is defined, it serves as a tool to say no to any project that falls aside from the strategic arenas, which are the focus areas for innovation. This is a straightforward example of a club member who wanted to manage all of their projects simultaneously, including information technology projects. Notice that this club member has five strategic arenas, namely Market 1, Technology Z, Platform A, Initiative P, and Technology G. However, in the process, the club member deemed it necessary to add additional buckets for tactical projects related to products and another one for IT projects. It also became necessary since it was the same resource working on Technology G and IT projects. This example shows a club member who wished to manage his advanced development project separately. This was an interesting choice because it was a separate team from those working on strategic arenas. This might be rare, but it is an interesting example of what could be applied to your organization. In most cases, advanced development is part of each arena. If you haven't already done so, you can get your hands on our popular 60-page visual guidebook for free. Click the link in the description below. Don't hesitate to watch the next video to learn even more about innovation management practices.